works on screen is one of the most important aspects of your worship service. And it doesn't matter if it's online like we've been doing now, or eventually when we go back into our church buildings, it's still a really important aspect of your service that you want to make sure you get right. There are two things to really consider. The first is the font, and the second is the background. In this video, I'm only going to be focusing on static backgrounds. Let's start by talking about the font. Here are two questions that I think we need to consider when putting together lyrics on a static background. The first, is it clear? And the second, is it visible? We want the font to allow the words to be read easily. And as you can see on this slide, I think it's pretty easy to read. Choose sans serif fonts because they are the best. If you're not sure which fonts are sans serif, you can just Google that and it will provide you with a list of typefaces to choose from. The font size also needs to be large enough. So use less lyrics per slide if necessary to allow for a larger text. I suggest one to two lines of text per slide up to four maximum. So in this case, you can see that I have the verse on one slide, which is four lines and the chorus on the next, which is also four lines. But if your verse or chorus are longer, then you're gonna to have to add more slides. The best color to choose is white against a dark background, which you can see I've done in this case. The placement of the text should be centered and in the middle of the screen. If you're using an image as the background, you may have to play around with the placement of the text in order to allow it to stick out more clearly. So in this case, you can see, I've just moved the lyrics off to the left-hand side to take away from what's happening on the right-hand side so it's not visually distracting. Punctuation is preferential, but you should always capitalize important words such as God, He, Him, Lord, Christ, etc. Avoid unnecessary instructions such as repeat two times or repeating lines of text over and over on the slide. You can just put one line of text which people will sing until the next set of lyrics is displayed. Also try not to leave words off of lines. As you can see in this case, it's very complicated to read what's going on here. And on the next slide I've corrected it by keeping everything linear so that it reads more like sentences. All right, now let's talk about the background. Make sure that the background you choose isn't visually distracting. So try to keep images relatively simple. As well, try to pick images that fit the mood or theme of the song. So in this case, we're singing about our father's world. So I've just chosen a scenery in the background that reflects the text. Make sure that the text is clear. If you're using an image, you can lower the opacity to allow the text to stand out. But sometimes this doesn't work. As you can see on this slide, the background is fairly light and the white text just doesn't stick out enough. I could try to play around with the opacity to fix that, but if it doesn't work, the other alternative is to just use a shadow box. And as you can see, once I place that shadow box around the lyrics, they stand out and they are very visually easy to read. So where do we find backgrounds? The first place I generally try to check out is canva.com if I have a specific idea in mind of something that I want to create. So earlier in the presentation, I showed you this is my father's world on a background that had mountains. I just found that on canva.com and I manipulated it to suit what I needed. The next place that I would check out is church motion graphics Dot com. They have an entire section of free worship media, so still backgrounds, um, still title slides. They also have some motion backgrounds if you're interested in that, and all of their content is free. Another great website is churchmediadrop.com. They also have an entire section of free media, but I just typed in still background, and it's come up with a lot of different um, things that I can choose from here lots of different packages of still images that might be helpful to you as well. A Salvation Army resource actually comes from the USA Southern Territory. Uh, ministrytoolkit.org, you can just sign up as a general user and they have lots of army related content. So I just typed in background 
and eventually when it comes up they have lots of images that I can use that are army related. So here's one for farewell Sunday. Uh, here's a couple that have the shield. We have some with the shield, the crest, lots of different options if you're looking for Salvation Army related content. Thanks for watching this video. I hope some of these tips will be helpful to you as you consider lyrics on screen. And be sure to continue to check out our Building Church From Home series by subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't ever miss a video.